With the onset of winter weather, additional concerns and issues need to be addressed. While weather is an extremely broad subject, this video will focus on airport surface operations during winter weather. Failure to properly prepare for and execute appropriate cold weather airport operations has led to runway incursions resulting in collisions with snow removal or maintenance operators and serious runway excursion accidents. Hazardous airport surface incidents during winter weather operations continue to occur. It is the responsibility of every pilot to know their own limitations and the capabilities of their particular aircraft. Before venturing off into the unforgiving winter environment, fully consider and know that you and your aircraft are prepared for and approved for the conditions that you expect to encounter. And remember, as pilot in command, you can always choose to plan your flight for more favorable conditions. During cold weather operations, surface contamination can present a serious hazard to aircraft. An iced over taxiway and a strong wind can easily move a general aviation aircraft in a direction other than the direction the pilot intended. Snow drifts can obscure signage and markings both on the surface and alongside the runway or taxiway, making it difficult for the pilot to know where to hold short or turn. Several systems are in place to help pilots better understand the surface conditions at their airport and how they may affect aircraft performance. Field conditions, or FICON NOTAMs, are used to describe braking action on specific runways and surfaces. Pilots subjectively assess the braking action quality of a runway surface and advise air traffic control. Braking action is described as good, good to medium, medium, medium to poor, poor, or nil. Note that airports will not report nil conditions, rather they will close the affected surface until conditions improve. A more objective way of describing surface conditions in FICON NOTAMs is through the use of TALPA and ARCAM. The Takeoff and Landing Performance Assessment, or TALPA, provides airports with a method to accurately and consistently determine runway conditions when the pavement is not dry. Airports use TALPA to assess, then report runway conditions in FICON NOTAMs. The runway condition assessment matrix is used at airports that employ TALPA and provides objective assessments of field conditions describing contaminant type and depth. These numerical runway condition codes, encoded in a FICON NOTAM as runway CC, also correlate with pilot braking condition descriptors referred to earlier in this video. Runway condition codes are reported for each third of a runway. ATC will provide service condition information received from pilots or airport management in qualitative or runway condition code terms. Pilots should also advise ATC if the current conditions they are experiencing are different than those reported in FICON NOTAM, and if faced with conflicting reports, consider or expect the more conservative or limiting condition. Runway condition codes are only good for the reported runway. Other surface areas may have different conditions. Now that you have the surface condition information at your airport, here are some tips and techniques to help you safely navigate the surface during winter weather. In general, plan for additional time. Arrive at your departure airport early. Winter weather conditions can change rapidly. Be flexible. Be prepared for the cold and wet environment. Think through the things that you must do differently from normal operations. All of those human factor issues that lead pilots to make surface errors are multiplied during harsh winter weather. In addition to the normal aircraft pre-flight inspections, ensure that there is no ice or contaminants on brakes, in wheel fairings, or landing gear wheel wells. Remember that other airport users may have difficulty seeing you. Use appropriate external lighting to make your aircraft more visible and give other users extra space. Know how contaminated surfaces affect your aircraft's flight characteristics and performance. Consult your airplane's pilot operating handbook. 
Ensure that you have the most up-to-date FICON NOTAM. Know how to interpret them and apply them to your aeronautical decision-making. Active runways change frequently during snow events. Actively listen to ATIS and ATC instructions to ensure that you have the latest information. When taxiing, slow down. Leave extra room between you and other aircraft, not just because you may have reduced brake effectiveness, but also to minimize contaminants being blown on your aircraft by prop wash or jet blast. Airfield signs and markings may be obscured. If the runway hold short lines are covered, stop prior to the white on red runway holding position sign or runway guard lights if installed. Always use your airport diagram or moving map display throughout ground operation. At non-towered airports, share important and timely information with airborne or ground operators on the common traffic advisory frequency. If you're having difficulty seeing the airport markings, you can increase the intensity of airfield lighting by clicking your microphone on the same frequency. At towered airports, controllers will adjust lighting upon pilot request. Moreover, if you're ever in doubt as to your clearance or location on the airport, ask the tower. They're there to help. Remember, if you cannot comply with or need more time to safely execute a particular instruction, such as to expedite a takeoff or exit the runway at a specific location, do not hesitate to advise the tower unable. We hope this short video helps you safely and comfortably fly during the winter weather season. It's always better to know before you go.